Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 23rd of August, 2015. The moon today will be in the first 10 degrees of the sign of Sagittarius, as it will be transiting its way through the nakshatra of Jeshta. The clear light of awareness can assist you in making a change when a change in direction is ultimately needed. But it is certainly best to know in your heart that it is right to make a change before you decide to spring into action. Hence the energy of the previous day, where you needed to sit with matters a little bit longer in order to understand whether the path that you were um, heading in was ultimately the right path for you. Well, you now have the necessary insight. But today the problem is that your strength is wavering. You feel dissatisfied as matters have not been working out as you have desired for them to with the previous path that you were on. The thing is, is your next steps that you are due to take are going to require that you have a high level of zest and zeal. And those are two factors that you are presently rather short of. And that's leaving you in a position where you're feeling unwilling to make the necessary sacrifice. But a change is now imminent. And whilst you should not negate your feelings, it's important that you do not now let them dissuade you from taking a very necessary course of action. Jeshta is an artha-driven nakshatra. It's very goal-driven to achieve a specific goal. It begins, um, it's, or I should say, it's at the very end of the nakshatras that are ruled over by tamasic energy, very dense and heavy energy. But this energy also is built upon with very balanced energy. So it generally requires being very firm in a special direction or in a specific direction, I should say, whilst you are gaining the necessary awareness that you need to gain in order to take the necessary steps, or whilst you are pulling together the strength of will that you need to take the necessary steps. Jeshta translated means the eldest. And Jeshta gives the power to rise and conquer, but the strength that it gives one is not based purely upon strength of will. It's based upon insight. Whenever describing Jeshta Nakshatra to, uh, to students, I always like to uh, explain the concept of imagining that you're involved in a battle. And imagine that you uh, have to temporarily retreat in order to see the situation that you're dealing with, with a higher level of perspective, so that you can then go back into the fray that you're uh, coping with and um, ultimately achieve success. That, that's a good way of looking at Jaysta energy. It's ruled by Mercury. So its concept is providing insight and wisdom with which to give you the strength that you need or the drive that you need in order to attain um, a very necessary victory. And GH to Nakshatra is well supported today. The problem is, is the energies of the lunar titi and the solar lunar yoga are not. And it's that that we need to look at in order to have a deeper understanding. Uh, Shukla Navami is the lunar titi that you're in today. It's the ninth day of the bright half of the moon. And this um, energy generally, when it's well supported, has a very fierce energy uh, to the extent that the deeper you go into your strength, the more strength you find that you have. But this energy is not very well supported today, so it's leaving you in just the opposite space where you're not really feeling that you have the necessary strength, and that's drawing you in, into, um, I would like to use the word, a trap of vulnerability. Right, Because the emotions that you're feeling now are what are now pulling you into that sense of vulnerability. If you can gain the necessary insight and awareness, you can just as easily pull yourself out of that position. The solar lunar yoga today is Vishkamba. Vishkamba means support. And here again, we have an unsupported energy, which ordinarily would let you have a very uh, firm um, capacity to make a necessary sacrifice with which to achieve the results that you're looking to achieve. But because you're not feeling that you have that strength, you don't feel that you have that strength to support you because your strength is wavering. So there's a need to take a deeper look at your situation and to not let the feelings which you are now feeling dissuade you from taking a very necessary course of action.
That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 23rd of August, 2015. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself, and should you feel compelled to do so, please feel free to visit my Astrological Services page. Bye now.